Hey, this is Chris at Talon Gaming. Today you're in for a special treat as we're going for a ride on the nostalgia train. All aboard! That's right. The Secret of Monkey Island. Special Edition. Developed and published by LucasArts back in the late 80s, long before you were swiping right. Hell, you may not even have been a shimmer in your mama's eyes at that point in time. Originally released in 1990 for Windows, Commodore, Mac, and the Sega Genesis. Yes, it's a classic. It was re-released in 2009 with updated 2D graphics, sound, and even voiceovers. Oh my. So you're going to ask yourself, why in the hell is this guy looking at this game after 30 plus years? Well, I remember pulling an all-nighter beating this game with my good buddy Terry. And it's part of gaming history. Back when games were fun without needing 100 gigs of video and graphics. Hell, my whole hard drive back then was a whopping 80 megs. The Secret of Monkey Island was a point-and-click adventure, something you don't really see in this day and age, at least not in the mainstream. If you ever use... The game consisted of insult sword fighting, getting shot out of a cannon not once, but twice, quirky humor, cannibals, ghosts, and treasure hunting. And let's not forget about the Fettuccine Brothers. It was a single-player game and fun for one, but honestly, it was more fun with friends. If you're looking for more, the game, plus a few sequels, is available on Steam for about 20 bucks. System freedom. requirements are pretty well non-existent. Go ahead and buy it, it'll run on a potato. The game comes in two flavors and you can hot swap at any point in time. New Age and Classic. Ooh, who loves some VGA graphics? So long, Anyone? Spice cake or so let's talk a little bit about the game. Look at, give to, push, pull, use, and more. So many it's things to do. Bunny. Pick up banana. Give banana to monkey. Now, this may <laughs> seem boring, but have you ever stuffed a monkey full of bananas only to have him follow you halfway across an island filled with cannibals? And then have him keep open a secret entrance for you? No, I didn't think so either. So, you play the game as a wannabe pirate named Guybrush Threepwood. Catchy, I know. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. In your quest to become a, a full-fledged pirate, you'll need to prove yourself to the local drunks, I mean pirates, down at the local scum tavern. In order to prove yourself, you'll need to complete three quests. First, you'll need to defeat the Melee Island Swordmaster. Insult sword fighting. This is pretty awesome. Next, you'll need to find the treasure of Mealy Island. A find a map, bring a shovel. And then, you'll need to steal from the governor's yeah. mansion. Ooh. I caught this hoodlum making During your adventures, you meet there. Governor Marley and fall in love, only for the ghost pirate LeChuck to whisk her away to the fabled Monkey Island. To save your love, you must set sail. But first, you need to procure a ship and recruit a mighty pirate crew using your newfound pirate skills. Make sure you keep your wits about you once you arrive, as you'll need to outsmart cannibals and ghost pirates alike. As you may have figured out by now, this is not a serious review, but we're going to have a go at it anyway. Let's start with graphics. 2D textures. Check. Barely there animations. Check. Let's talk sound. Sound effects, check. Music, check. Voice acting, actually not too bad considering the game is mostly just satire and not to be taken seriously. Story, yes, there's a story and it's quite a humorous tale. Let's talk gameplay. The game is a point and click adventure. The puzzles and solutions aren't always clear, so try everything. Thankfully in the 2009 release, you can press H to throw yourself some hints, a nice addition. The game often makes you think outside the box, or inside the box in some cases. It's a style of game that some of us grew up on. No fancy graphics, or in some cases none at all. All 100% story driven adventures. Your imagination was left to fill in the gaps. You'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll probably need to seek help. They say this one will take you somewhere in the 7 hour range to complete. That is if you don't get stuck or use hints. I would plan on the game taking a few hours longer though. Play along with a few friends, it's a lot of fun. Why laugh at stupid jokes alone when you can do it with a friend? Important notice. These dogs are not dead. They are only sleeping. While the game won't amaze you with high-tech graphics, sound, or other wizardry, it will give you a sense of nostalgia for an entire genre of games that have all but disappeared. Sure, there are a few out there, but they're few and far between. I hope you give it a shot and enjoy it. I know I did. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this trip through gaming history. If you enjoyed this type of content, let us know and perhaps we'll do something like this again in the future. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what you think. This is Chris from Talent Gaming, signing out.